In just a second, I'm going to share with you the simple three-step process that everyone who makes money online broadcasting uses to make money online broadcasting. It's something you need to know before you start your podcast or your vlog or your live stream, or if you've already started one of those things and it's just not working for your business, if you're not seeing the return that you want, if nobody's watching and you definitely ain't making any money at it, there's a simple three-step process you need to start to follow. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to share that with you in just a minute. But first, there's something very important that you need to know about your podcast or your vlog or your live stream. And it's that while you think it may be the best thing for your business or some marketing guru or ebook or, 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 you know, video or, or, you know, you watched a, 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 a webinar and they told you, you must podcast, you must do a live streaming video on Facebook, you must be on Periscope or YouTube. Somebody told you that, but they didn't give you the whole story because podcasts and vlogging and live streaming, they don't work. They don't work. They never have, and they never will. And if you just jump into it and say, I'm just going to turn on my microphone and start podcasting, you are wasting your time and you are wasting the time of the handful of people that are actually going to watch you. What you need to do is not start a podcast. What you need to do is not just start a vlog. What you need to do, well, is this. Let me write it down for you. I was going to do... I was going to do one of those videos where, you know, you have the, the big dry erase board, but I don't have that. I, don't, I was going to do like one of those with the flip chart. And then I was like, I don't have a flip chart, but I do have, however, it's Sharpie and I have some of these cards. So I'm just going to write down the important notes. And what you need to do is not podcast or vlog or live stream. What you need to do is create a show. That's what you need to do. You need to create a show, a show that's specifically designed for your audience on your subject that showcases your talents, your expertise, and entertains at the same time. Podcasting, vlogging, live streaming, it doesn't cut it anymore. You can't just turn on your video camera, broadcast your life to people, and expect them to care. You must create a show. And let me explain to you, let me explain to you the difference. Let me explain to you what I mean. When I first, uh, when I got my first radio show way back a long time ago, I moved to Washington, D.C., and I was broadcasting the morning show, and I was very successful at it. Had a lot of people listen to the show, a lot of people liked the show, and I worked for a guy who was a little kooky, a little crazy, I'll admit, but he was an amazing broadcaster, and, and I learned a lesson, a very valuable lesson from him early on, and that's really what helped me succeed in my career. It's what helped me become the number one broadcaster in Washington, D.C. It's, it's what helped me uh, get the number one morning show in North Florida. It's what helped me work and fill in for, for nationally syndicated shows like Herman Cain. When I started my Snapchat talk show, it was this very same lesson I learned from this guy that helped me get my Snapchat talk show in front of thousands of people every single week. And when I started on YouTube, when I started my own podcast, my own show, it's what caused me to become so popular so quickly that the entire thing was shut down. That's a story for another day. But let me get back to this guy and what I learned from him. He, uh, he was in the studio with us one morning. We were just wrapping up our show and we're sitting there and, and, we're, and we're, you know, we're, we're joking around with them. Our morning program, by the way, we broadcast from 6 to 10 a.m. So about 9.45, a guy walks in the studio and, uh, and, you know, after we were done, we, there, was this, uh, there was this young lady who came in and she did, she did the show after us. She, she broadcast from 10 a.m. to about 2 p.m. Well, one day this dude walks in. I'm expecting to see this lady, but it's this other guy. And I knew him. He'd worked part-time at the radio station. I said, hey, what are you doing here? And he said, oh, uh, the lady that usually works this show is sick. So I'm here. I'm going to be working her shift. And my boss was in the studio. Don't forget, we were joking and hanging out. And he all of a sudden stops and he gets kind of angry looking and he looks at the dude and he says, what did you just say? And we all kind of could sense some tension. So I, I paused. I was quiet, uh, which is uh, uncharacteristic of me. But anyway, and the guy looks at our boss again. He goes, oh, I'm here to do the midday shift. And my boss looks at him and goes, shift? He goes, you're not, you're not here to do a shift. Okay, this is not a factory. You're not, you're not assembling toaster ovens or Volkswagens. This is not, a, this is not a, a conveyor belt where we're piecing together the same thing. We did not hire you to do a shift. We hired you to do a show. 
You have you have a million people out there who listen to this radio station every single day. A million people who turn turn us on to be entertained, to be informed, to escape their lives, to chuckle, to laugh, to cry, to know what's going on. They want to be energized. They want to be invigorated. They're in their cars. They're stuck in traffic. They're at work. They hate their jobs. They're turning on our radio station as an escape from that. They are not turning on the radio station to hear somebody doing a shift. What they want to hear is a show. And he looked at the guy and he said, you do a show. And he slammed the door and walked out. And we were all petrified with fear. But he was absolutely right. He was absolutely right. We weren't hired workers to work a shift. We weren't just hourly employees who were, you know, putting together burgers or scooping ice cream into, uh, into banana splits all day. We were entertainers. We were show people. We were there to put on a show. And I left that day and I never forgot that. That was, that was it, man. This is what I'm in show business and my job is to create a show. And that day forward, this is all I've ever tried to do. Also, from that day forward, I never saw that guy ever again. I don't know what happened to him, but I don't think I don't think he worked there much longer after that. And that's why I'm here today, because I'm hoping you realize that you can't just do a podcast. A podcast is just a vehicle. A podcast is just is just the technology. You know, a vlog is a video blog. Okay, but that's not the thing that you're supposed to create. It's the way you distribute it. Video is a distribution device. Same with live streaming. All of these things are just ways for you to get your content out. But your content should be a show. It should be the best show that you can produce and it should be a show that your audience loves. People love shows. They watch shows. They make sure that they're, uh, they, that, that they're there when the new show starts. They talk about shows. They share shows with their friends. I mean, shows are very important to people. They're entertained by them. They're inspired by them. And they also buy from shows, which is something very important if you are an online entrepreneur. So don't just do a podcast. Do a show. You're doing an audio-only show. Don't just do a vlog. Do a show. And don't just do another live streaming video. Don't just do it. Put on a live show. That's what people want to see, and that's what they're going to connect with. All right, I promised you, now that you know you're putting together a show, I promised you three steps, the three-step process that everybody, whoever broadcasts, uses to make money online. In just a minute, by the way, if you're still confused or if you want additional help, I'm going to offer you that as well. But first, you need to understand these three steps. Step one, there's, it's a simple three-step process. The first step is, and again, let me write this down on the card for you so you can see it. The first thing you have to do is this. You have to create content. All right. This is how you start anything. Anyone who's ever created any kind of broadcasting medium, whether it's a TV show or a radio show or an online show or a magazine, or it could be your email list. It could be your blog. It could be your Twitter feed. I don't care. You've got to create the content first. Until you start creating content, there is no show. There is no podcast. There's nothing for you to distribute to people. There's no way for anybody to know you. You've got to be able to create content. And this content has to be content that your audience, whoever you decide your audience is going to be, this has got to be content that they crave, that they love, that they're going to eat up, that they're going to watch or listen to or read and say more, more, more. Content is the key. Until you create something, you really have nothing. And I know this sounds basic, but so many people screw this up. So many people say, I need to build an audience first. No, building an in fact, building an audience is the second step. Creating content is the first thing. When I started my radio show in DC, uh, I walked in the first day. I didn't know if anyone was listening or not, but it didn't matter. I had four hours that I had to fill and I did it by creating content. When I first jumped on Snapchat, I don't think anybody was following me. Maybe like five people. And they didn't even really like me, but I started creating content. Why? Because unless you create content, you have nothing. You have no vehicle. You have no business. You have no show. And again, that's what you're trying to do. You've got to create a show and you do that by first creating content. All right. That's step one. Now, after step one, as I've already mentioned, you create your content 
you put it out there and then you begin to build an audience. That's number two, build an audience. I wrote, but an audience. <laughs> Hold on. I'm so excited. Build an audience. Let me do this again because someone's going to call me out for being a moron. Then you build an audience, build an audience. And you do that by creating content over and over again. You create content one day, somebody watches it, they say, that's okay. So you do it again the next day and try to make it better. And then you tell that then you, you keep going until your audience says, wow, this is really great content. And then you keep going until they talk to their friends about it and share it with other people and post it on their Facebook page and tweet about it. And then you build an email list, you send it to them. And this whole time you're creating content better and better that is suited to your audience. And you know, it's suited to your audience because your audience keeps growing and it's growing and growing and growing. And you're producing that content on a regular basis. You're doing it daily, you're doing it weekly, you're doing it monthly, you could be doing it hourly. There's a lot of people out there that pump out content on an hourly basis. It doesn't matter. Whatever your audience accepts from you and wants from you, and whatever you're willing to give them, that's what you should be doing. You know, look at look at magazine. This is something that's not new. This is something that magazines and radio stations and TV stations have known forever. Magazines, they go out and they publish an issue, and they put it out there, and people start to read it. And then they publish more issues. Same thing. That's how you build your circulation. TV shows, radio shows, it's the same process. And then after you've created content over and over for days and weeks and months and even years, and you've built that audience and you have rapport with them and they love you and they just can't wait for your next show. There's that word again. Then you get to step three. And step three is very exciting for entrepreneurs because that's where the money comes in. Once you build your, once you create some content and you build your audience, I can't spell, I gotta, I gotta do this one again. Once you create your content and you build your audience, then it's very exciting because then you get to do this. Sell them stuff, sell them stuff. That's the simple three-step process that everybody who's ever made money broadcasting uses. Create content build an audience and sell them stuff. Okay. That's how you do it. This is the order that it's in. It's not in this order. That's wrong. You can't build an audience before you create content. You can't sell them stuff before you build the audience. Okay. There's nobody there to buy it. It's very simple. It's one, two, three, create content, build an audience and sell them stuff and make sure that you're making a show. That's how it works. And if you look at anybody, NBC, ESPN, CBS, Bravo, Fox News, uh, the, the movie channel, what, I mean, I don't care what it is. These people are out there creating content, building an audience, and then selling them stuff, selling them stuff that is specific to that audience. That's how I made money with Snapchat. That's how I made money with my podcast. That's how I make money every single day on the radio. All these people you see, these people that you envy, that you watch over and over again. If you have a favorite YouTuber, think about it. Go and look at their videos. They are out there on a regular schedule creating content. They are out there building their audience. Follow them over a couple of weeks. You'll see those subscriber numbers go up and up and up. And those view counts go up and up and up. Email lists. If anyone you know runs a newsletter, which is just a newsletter is another type of show. A newsletter is just a written show. If you have an email sequence that you send to your subscribers, those emails, don't just send emails. Those better be the best gosh darn emails ever. They better be riveting, entertaining. It better be like a show, like a serial that they just can't wait to open. You know, it's got to be the kind of email that they see it's from you and they go, oh my God, I've been waiting for this email all day. There's some marketers that are great at that great at that. They're professional writers. They put, pour every ounce of their energy into crafting an email that people are going to, that are, people are going to look forward to, that they're going to open, that they're going to, that they're going to be emotionally bound to. And then of course, they're going to click on the link at the bottom and they're going to buy from. That's your job. Create a show, create content, build an audience and sell them stuff. Now, that's the main big picture. There's a lot of little things in between. For example, 
how to figure out who your audience is, how to find them online, uh, the best medium that you should be using. Should you be podcasting? Should you be using video? Should you be live streaming? Should you be writing a blog? Should you be doing all of the above? Which social media platforms are best for publicizing? How can you publicize your show offline or online in different areas? How do you get written up in big blogs and magazines like the Huffington Post or Mashable or Business Insider? How do you build that audience using various different social mediums like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram? Instagram. Plus the equipment. What kind of equipment do I use? Should I script my show? The answer, by the way, is yes. Every show is scripted. Well, how do I script a live stream? How do I script a podcast? What if nothing interesting happens to me? What if I sit down and I try to begin podcasting, but I don't know what to say? Or what if I say too much? What about character development? Have you developed your own personal character? Do you have other characters that you can develop? That you can develop? Which characters does your audience really connect with the best? Did you know that your product and your business should also be a character? What are some of the best characters? On there's tons of questions that you probably need help with. And luckily, I've put together something very special. I've done something very special. I've put together some of the the material that I've learned by becoming the uh, the number one and really only talk show host on Snapchat with a talk show that has earned me thousands of dollars and gotten me trips around the world to speak to groups about Snapchat and social media and building shows. You know, these are lessons I've learned while I produced a podcast that in about 60 days became so popular, it got shut down. Again, that's a story for another day. And then of course, there's my radio show, which I've been able to succeed at over and over, month after month, quarter after quarter, year after year for two decades. For two decades in two different cities, I've had the number one rated show in my demographic. And I've done this with all these lessons I've learned from great mentors and bosses like the guy who, who yelled at that dude who said, I'm here for my shift. Uh-uh, you're not here for a shift, dude. You're here for a show. Him, celebrities that I've met. I've worked with uh, people like, like, um, like, uh, like Herman Cain, uh, Sean Hannity, Flo Rida. Uh, you know, I, I've worked with uh, I've, Grant Cardone, tons of great names, people I've interviewed, people I've talked to, people who have, who have given me amazing lessons in life. And, and these are things that I've now put together in a place where I'm going to share them with you. And that place is something I like to call uh, 1,000 Shows. And the reason it's 1,000 Shows is because I am now dedicated... I am now dedicated to making the internet a better place, okay? I know everybody's podcasting. I know you're here because you were searching in line about how to podcast. I know everybody's creating YouTube videos. I know everyone wants to do a vlog. You're here because you typed into Google or Bing or someplace, hey, how do I vlog better? How do I create a vlog? I know that you want to do live streaming video because you went to YouTube and you searched, how do I do live streaming video? And it got you to this part, this place. Great, you're here for a reason. And that reason is that I'm going to work with 1,000 people. I'm going to create 1,000 shows because not only am I a content creator, but I'm a content consumer. And nothing pains me more than going on the internet and seeing somebody with a great business or a great product who just can't seem to do a great podcast or a great vlog or a great live stream. And the reason is because they don't know how to put on a show. All right, we're all in show business. Every business is show business. And I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. So I'm going to work with 1,000 people. And if, you're, if you'd like to be one of them, there's a button on this page. Just click it. Uh, there's a little form. There's a little thing you have to agree to. And then you will be um, in one of my 1,000 shows. You'll be able to claim one of my 1,000 shows. And what that means to you is that, first of all, you'll have instant access to just about everything I've learned about broadcasting online and broadcasting offline. Because people have been broadcasting offline way longer than they've been broadcasting online. And every successful vlogger, the K <coughs> pardon me, the Casey Neistats of this world, if you're a fan of him, the, the Jake Pauls, uh, you know, both guys that I've interviewed and worked with and learned from, any of these people, uh, if you're here because you're a fan of them or you want to do what they do, if you're like Gary Vaynerchuk's daily vlog, the Gary V, you know, if you've stumbled upon Alex Becker or any one of these other uh, online gurus who really knows their stuff and has created not just a great vlog, but an awesome show that you watch on a regular basis. If you're a viewer of their show and you want to do your own, uh, then that's why you're here. And that's why I, that's what I'm here to help you do. I'm here to help 1,000 people create 1,000 awesome shows. So I'm going to teach you everything that I've learned online and offline about broadcasting. 
you'll have instant access to all of that. If you want to read more, scroll down to the bottom of the page. I go through bullet point after bullet point. You know, the secret, the 100-year-old radio broadcasting secret that will get your audiences to stay with you. You know, how to write a headline for your blog post, your podcast, or your live stream that will quadruple, quadruple the amount of people that are watching. You know, my four-step marketing plan for any vlog or podcast. How I use this, so, how I use this same process to create a podcast in 60 days that was so popular it got shut down. That's the story again for another. In fact, I'll tell you that story uh, if, you, uh, if you're one of my 1,000 shows. Plus, what I'll do is I'll work with you guys every single month. We're going to do live coaching calls, which means I'll sit down with you. You'll get on the phone. We'll talk about your particular show. We'll talk about your content. We'll talk about your audience. What hurdles are you, are you butting up against? What roadblocks do you have? Are there speed bumps that we can help you, you know, gun it and just fly right over? Any specific questions you have will be answered. We'll do that twice a month, two weekly live coaching calls with me. Plus, you'll have my email address and you'll be able to write me directly for instant questions being answered. We have a Facebook group, a private Facebook group, where every single person who's working on their podcast, their vlog, every single person who's working on the show, 1,000 of you, plus me, plus a bunch of my other friends who are great show people, great social media broadcasters and marketers, we all hang out there and they will help to answer your questions as well. So all you have to do is click the button. There's a button down here and you will get instant access. You'll have to answer a couple of questions. You have to agree to the terms of service and then you will be one of my 1000 shows. Now that's not all. I'm creating kind of an online directory, a wall of fame so that every single person that I help, every, every single one of the 1000 shows, here it is, that I help build because I'm excited about this. I'm gonna showcase this. You're gonna have, you're gonna have an amazing freaking show. You're going to have a podcast that is the envy of your friends and your colleagues. You're going to have a vlog that people want to watch, look forward to, share, and buy from. And you're going to have live streaming that seems like you're a genius. It seems like you see people are going to be like, oh my God, you just turn on the camera and you say the most amazing things. I'll teach you how that happens. Okay, I'll teach you how you can do that, how you can emulate that strategy. And then most importantly, how you can use all of that to grow your business, to sell to get paid, to get speaking engagements, to get advertisers, to get sponsors, to sell your product, because that's what business is all about. And if you are, if you are starting to do your own show, if you're creating your own show, it should be to build your business. It should be for financial reward, because that's why, I mean, if you're getting, if you're getting financially rewarded for something you do and you love doing it, you're going to keep doing it over and over and you're going to make it better and better. And I'm going to help you. And every 1, 000, uh, every one of the 1,000 shows that we create will be showcased and spotlighted on the website in this, in this kind of, like I said, this wall of fame or this directory for all time so that everyone that comes to the website knows that you are one of the 1,000 shows. Oh, that rhymed. Look, that rhymed. I totally didn't even mean to do it. Now, here's the kicker. There's only 1,000 spots left, or open, rather. I don't even know how many are left. But there's only 1,000 spots total. I'm only going to work with 1,000 people. I'm only going to take 1,000 people because when you start doing live phone calls, when you start doing Q&As, when you start training people in a group, you can't have too many, too many people in there. It just it loses, you, you, you lose steam. Everyone's speaking and nobody's listening. So 1,000 is the perfect number, and that's what we're going to limit this uh, opportunity at. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one to, to build your own show, your own brand as a podcast or as a vlog, as a live stream, as all three, then click that button right now. Click that button, uh, answer the question, fill out the form, and let's get started. Let's work together. I want you to be one of my 1,000 shows. I want you to have the best show you can possibly create and I want you to succeed beyond your wildest dreams while you're doing it. My name is Mark K. Click the button. Let's get started.